Um, so I think let's start with SpaceX because it just completed its 100th landing. It was a, another big month for that company uh, owned by Elon Musk or run by Elon Musk last month. And of course, uh, this is poised to be the year of big, powerful rocket launches, starting with Starship. Yeah, it was a big year, certainly. Um, you know, you can't talk about the space economy without speaking of, of SpaceX. They had 31 launches last year, and almost all of them were on flight-proven rockets. So they ended the year with uh, three launches in three days, and they recovered their 100th rocket booster, which is an amazing milestone because they did that before anyone else was even able to do it once. So, you know, as you mentioned, um, the, the undoubtedly the, the most significant develop to development to watch for in 2022 is going to be Starship. This is a massive vehicle that has the potential to fundamentally change the economics of getting access to orbit. Yeah. So what does all of this mean for capital flows? Because 2021 was a record year in terms of investors putting money to work in the sector. We did see a number of companies, SpaceX excluded, going public as well. We've got Virgin Orbit, the sister company of Virgin Galactic, uh, poised to start trading later this week, too. How do investors size up the opportunities and make those investments based on where this emerging economy is right now? This is a record year for investment into the category for sure, um, particularly in space infrastructure. So we're looking at our preliminary Q4 data now, and there was $14.5 billion invested into space infrastructure and $39 billion invested across mm -hmm. all space technology stacks in the year. So we are now looking at um, a quarter of a trillion dollars invested into 1,700 space companies over the last 10 years, and we expect that, that growth to continue. Um, lots of opportunities. Um, one of which, you know, there's as investors are moving out and thinking beyond suborbital and orbital space tourism, there is a growing interest in permanent outposts in space. Um, although I think, you know, that that um, it's incredibly costly to build and maintain these um, outposts. Uh, the International Space Station, for reference, costs one hundred fifty billion dollars to build. So, you know, if. Starship is able to do um, what they say it will be able to do, launching 1,100 cubic meters, 100 tons to orbit for just the cost of fuel. Um, you know, this is one of those areas where I think Starship uh, could make space stations obsolete before they're even launched. So this is definitely an area to watch. Wow, it's pretty incredible to put that in focus, given the fact that NASA just in recent weeks has started to dole out some money for some of these future commercial space habitats. Um, as an investor, key areas that you are putting money to work or looking at to potentially put money to work in 2022 and beyond right now? Yeah, one of which is uh, space traffic management. So we have a lot of growth happening in that area. The number of satellites that was launched in 2020 was 20x the amount that was launched 10 years earlier. Um, the 3,000 satellites that are in orbit today are expected to grow to, to 50 to 100,000 um, over the next 10 years. So understanding those orbits and how to operate safely um, there is really important. We've invested in, in Leo Labs, a company that has a ground, uh, a network of ground-based radars that's, that's tracking those things. Um, and they're tracking Starlink satellites. So um, a lot of growth in this area, and Starlink is, is a key driver of those. We're very interested in uh, satellite communications. Uh, we could see the uh, broadband capacity 20x over the next five years at lat latency that rivals terrestrial. So that's a key area of focus for us. You know, will we see Starlink spin off IPO in 2022? Um, we'll have to see. Will Amazon's Project Kuiper? Um, launch their first satellites in Q4 this year uh, as planned. We'll, we'll, those are two areas we're really going to be looking at. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.